Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to install Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 on your Samsung Galaxy Note. Now, I am using an AT&T version of the Note, which has a model number of i717, uh, but these instructions are pretty universal and will apply to any other models. We will be using a very popular and stable custom ROM known as CyanogenMod, which is the closest thing to resemble the pure Android 4.2.2 as you can see in the video. However, before we can install CyanogenMod 4.2.2, here are some prerequisites that you need to get done. So number one is, make sure your Samsung Galaxy Note is rooted, and number two is make sure you have a custom recovery like TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on your Samsung Galaxy Note. Now both of these things are very easy to accomplish. If you don't have those set up yet, go and watch my step-by-step -step root your Galaxy Note video, for which I will leave a link in the description below. If you already have taken care of those two things, we can uh, dive right in. Alright, so to accomplish this task, we, we are going to need to download two files. Uh, what I want you to do is go to my website, sakitechonline.com, and then navigate to Downloads. Under Downloads, you want to look, take a look at these two links. Uh, I'm sorry, not this one, this one right here. It's download CyanogenMod and Download Gaps. Okay? So if you click this link, it's going to take you to the CyanogenMod website. From here, what you want to do is you want to navigate to Devices, and then you click show all devices and then you can simply go and find the Samsung Galaxy Note for AT&T from this huge list. Now on your Windows you can actually click Control F and then you can actually gonna get a little search box on the top and you can search for Galaxy Note. So here we have Samsung Galaxy Note AT&T version. If you happen to have any other versions you can go and download that specific file for your own Samsung Galaxy Note model. Okay, I have this one, so I'm going to go ahead and download this one. So click this, and then it's going to take you to this website, where, uh, this uh, page where, with more details. And what you want to download here is you have a bunch of different options. You want to download the most stable version of CyanogenMod which is running the latest Android Jelly Bean and it has absolutely no issues or any kind of uh, problems. So if you click this again you'll see another list the one on the top is the newest one so CM 10.1.2 is the newest one. Now if you're watching this video a couple months down the, down the road you may see something newer you can go ahead and download the newest possible stable release. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to download that and then once that download is complete we have to get another file. So go back to my website and this time we have to download GAPS. Okay? And when you click this link you're going to end up on this website. And because we are installing CyanogenMod 10.0 one point X and if you come back here you can see 10.1.2 so that cor correlates to 10.1.X we have to download this version of GAPS which is for Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 now what GAPS is is it's actually the Play Store and a couple of other Google apps that don't come pre-installed with the um, Cyanogen mod. So Cyanogen mod comes onto your phone without the actual Play Store. To get the Play Store on your um, phone, you have to get the GAPS applications. So just click this link right here, and in in um, in a couple seconds, the download for the GAPS is going to start. All right. So the next step is to actually go to your desktop and create a new folder named Note update and then when you go into note update what I want you to do is copy 
both of the files that you just downloaded into this folder just so we can keep them nice and neat and separate from all the other cluster so here's the cyanogen mod 10.1.2 and here's the gaps application package okay so once you have done this just minimize this window and now at this point I want you to make sure that you connect your Samsung Galaxy Note to your computer and make sure it's powered on as usual okay so when you go to your computer it's gonna pop right here so navigate into the internal storage of your phone stay right here and then go back to the note update folder that we just created and just copy both of these files and paste them right in here okay so once the copy and paste process is complete you're actually done with your computer now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this computer and I'm gonna switch over to my phone and show you what steps to take next to finalize the process alright so back on your phone you can actually detach this from the computer so you don't need a computer no more and what I want you to do is turn off the phone power off okay and then what you want to do is you want to go into the custom recovery of your phone to go into the custom recovery what you want to do is you want to press and hold volume up and down at the same time I'm going to keep it like this and then press power while you're pressing volume up and down once the phone vibrates let the power go but keep holding volume up and down at the same time until you see this blue screen then you can let the whole thing go this is the custom recovery so here is where we're gonna install uh, the cyanogen mod to your phone the first thing you wanna do before you install any custom ROM is to wipe the device so go to wipe and do a swipe to factory reset this is gonna clear everything you have on your phone so you're deleting all the information make sure you have a backup before you do any musics pictures movies you want to back up back it up before you do this so go back and just to be safe what I do is I, I go to advanced wipe and I also wipe the Dalvik cache the cache the data and then I do a swipe to wipe just to be safe and once this is complete you go back then you use the button at the bottom here to go back again go back one more time okay and now you can actually go and install cyanogen mod so tap install and then you have to navigate to the internal storage of your phone if you look up here it says storage EMMC that is the internal storage and if you look here it says slash EMMC so you are at the internal storage this is where we put our two files just a couple minutes ago so if you navigate all the way to the bottom you can swipe down here are the two files we copied over the CM and the gaps the first one you want to install is the cyanogen mod that's the actual Android Jelly Bean operating system. Okay, so tap that, and what you want to do is all you do is you swipe to confirm the flash. Swipe to confirm, and now you're you're getting the full uh, Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 on your Galaxy Note. It's going to take a couple minutes, of course. Okay, and once everything is completed it's gonna say successful in blue right there and uh, what you can do now is you can reboot the system this is gonna go into your newly installed operating system however we do have one more step remember we do have to install gaps so let's wait for this to complete it's gonna take a couple minutes and there is your cyanogen mod login screen initially it's gonna take a couple minutes okay so the initial setup is complete so let's click OK 
and as you can see this is Android Jelly Bean and let's look at the version so if you go to settings all the way at the bottom if you go to about you're gonna see it says Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 and if you press that the little bubble comes up I mean the little bean comes up and you can confirm what you just did now let's go back out I'm gonna show you one more thing if you go into apps as you can see there is no Play Store in here so if there's no Play Store you cannot get any apps and that's precisely why we downloaded the um, gaps application package so let's uh, turn this off power off we're gonna go back into recovery and do the same thing we did just five minutes ago again you press and hold volume up and down at the same time and you press power once you feel the vibration you let the power go but keep volume up and down pressed until you see the blue screen once you're here you're, gonna, you're, you're not going to do a wipe this time so go to install go all the way to the bottom and this time you want to install gaps swipe to confirm flash flash means install that should be very quick and as soon as you're done you can do a reboot system and uh, cyanogen mod starts that's a really nice splash screen by the way and then there's going to be a couple more seconds a little extra time here because Android is going to upgrade meaning it's installing 26 different applications from the gaps package and there we go so let's unlock the screen and you can this time you actually get a normal Google setup screen so click start skip all this stuff skip the Wi-Fi skip anyway Just keep saying okay okay let's give it a name Saki tech next your phone is set up finish and there you go now here's the difference when you go to apps this time you will in fact see the Play Store right here and you can start downloading any kind of apps that you want okay and that's the reason why we installed gaps and then you also got a couple other things in here like the Google search uh, you got the voice search and a couple other apps but the, the basic thing is you need the Play Store, period. Without the Play Store, an Android phone is nothing. Okay? Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.